Namaste to all. I am going to present a video abstract of our paper titled Performance of Genus SDR for INSS Self Bicycles using a low cost RF printed. My name is Chittimal Srinu and we are from the Research and Training Unit for Navigation Electronics, Usman University, India. IRNSS is a regional navigation satellite system developed by Indian Space Research Organization of India. It will provide a good accuracy in the Indian region. An IRNSS software receiver is very useful at present and also in future. But the software receiver for processing IRNSS signals is hardly present. This gives us the motivation to develop a real-time INSS software receiver and to use it as an academic or research tool at our center. In Genesis software receiver, all the digital signal processing or baseband processing is performed in a programmable processor. This slide gives the definition, advantages and applications of a Genesis software receiver. We have used an existing open source Genesis SDR code and framework to develop IRNC software receiver. Genesis SDR is a popular and very flexible Genesis software receiver available as an open source tool. It was developed, developed and have been maintained by the CTTC Spain. The architecture of the Genesis SDR is shown here. It supports post-processing and real-time processing of most of the Genesis signals available today. We have followed this methodology. Step 1 is the development of IRNC snap receiver chain using Genesis SDR code and framework. Step 2 is validating the algorithms or complete developed receiver chain using simulated data and also comparing the results with GPS signals. Step 3 is evaluating the performance of the receiver for real-time processing of NAVIC LFI signals with a low-cost RTL SDR front end. This slide shows the signal flow graph of the NAVIC L5 signals. This is developed using the signal flow graphs of the existing GPS L1 and Galileo E1 signals. Since the characteristics of the signals of both GPS L1 and IRNS L5 are similar in terms of multiplexing, modulation, fear and code characteristics and also the coordinate system. Similarly, the navigation encoding of the IRNS L5 is similar to the Galileo E1 in terms of FEC, block interleaving and CRC. So by modifying these codes of uh, these two signals as per the IRNS ICD, the signal flow graph of the IRNS L5 is developed. For validating and comparing the developed receiver chain, both GPS L1 and IRNS L5 simulated digital IF data is generated using a simulator for the same number of satellites with similar satellite geometry. The standard deviations of ENU coordinates of both systems, two-dimensional and three-dimensional position and accuracy measures such as CEP, MRSC for both GPS L1 and IRSS L5 signals are compared in this slide. These results are for a static antenna case and for a simulated data. For validating and comparing the developed receiver chain for a dynamic case, similar to the static case, simulated digital IF data of GPS L1 and IRSS L5 signals is generated using a simulator for the same number of satellites with similar geometry in dynamic mode also. This slide shows the trajectory of the simulated path. The plots shown here are ENU coordinate errors, velocity in x, y and y and z directions and estimated trajectory compared with the refer reference trajectory. The standard deviations of ENU coordinates of both systems and precision and accuracy methods for both GPS L1 and IRS L5 signals are compared here for a dynamic simulated data case. For real-time test, a low-cost RTL-SDR block with the dongle is used. This slide gives the specifications of RTL-SDR dongle used in this paper. This slide shows the experimental setup for real-time processing of NAVIC L5 signals. The antenna is placed on the rooftop of the NET2 building of Small University. It also gives the PC specifications used in this experiment. This slide shows the tracking plot of one of the tracked NAVIC uh, L5 satellite, corresponding sky plot, error scatter in the east, north and up directions and also velocity plots for a static real-time case with rtl -SDR dongle. The standard deviation errors in ENU coordinates, precision and accuracy measures along with the position estimates uh, shown in the Google map of a static real-time case. This slide shows the experimental setup for real-time processing of NAVIC L5 signals for a dynamic vehicle case. The antenna is placed on the top of the vehicle and a U-Blocks hardware receiver is used uh, to get the reference trajectory. The standard deviation errors of ENU coordinates, velocity and the trajectory obtained with the position estimates is plotted with respect to the reference trajectory and it is also shown in the Google Maps. The positional accuracy measures along with the mean top value is shown in table for dynamic vehicle case. The other table gives the statistical values related to speed of execution for a fixed 200 seconds data in offline and online 
and also time to first fix values for static real time case by connecting RTL SDR front end to the PC. Finally, uh, this paper presents the implementation and positional performance of real time Navi L5 software receiver using a flexible GSDR coherent framework. Uh, it also uses a low cost RTL SDR front end. This could be one of the low cost real time software receiver solutions for processing IRSs or Navi signals. So this has a high potential to use it as an academic or research tool and could be employed in several applications. For the complete details, please refer our paper uh, published in Navigation Journal. Thank you.